What is going on, everybody? We are here at Cedar Point on April 8th. That's right, you heard me correctly. It is April. Pretty sure this is the first time that there's been any sort of people at Cedar Point in April ever. Because there's a special thing called the total eclipse that you probably heard of before. And you can watch it here at Cedar Point. And I, from what I heard on like some news stations is that this area is gonna be one of the best areas in the country for the eclipse. And look, sky, like, can you find any clouds? A couple clouds some. over there. I found some. But for the most part, it is completely clear. So we're hoping for a perfect day here today. Let's check this thing out. In just a few short hours, that thing, right there is going to be covered up. Perfect weather. So today's event is going to be limited to just the boardwalk area. So you see over there, Gatekeeper will be running, Max Air will be running, Wild Mouse, Tiki Twirl, aka uh, Calypso. You can't see anything. Oh, are those your classes? Yeah, they're fancy. NASA approved. Oh wow, NASA approved doesn't get much better than that. From NASA. Perfect. Move over to the sidewalk. We're gonna wrap the line around. The All right. So the glasses that Milo is wearing, I'm gonna try to put them over the phone here and see if you guys can see the sun through that. Wait. Oh, there. Yeah, see, kind of can. It's just like a little red dot up there. So this event is a special ticketed event. No passes or anything like that could get you into this. And also none of your special add-ons work for anything like this. So like we have the season long fast lane, so we can't use that for this. So uh, dining plan also dining plan work. does not yeah, work. Yeah. The only, I think the uh, Grand Pavilion is gonna be the only restaurant open today anyway. Um, and I went over some of the rides that were gonna be open, but yeah, this is just completely special event. Like we said, probably the first time in history that Cedar Point was actually open on an April day. I can't, I can't say how perfect the weather is for this. Like it's mid sixties right now. Mid sixties, not a cloud in the sky. As you can see, it's absolutely perfect. So everyone that went down to like Texas went down to like uh, Six Flags over Texas for their event. Did they have? Oh yeah, they did. Everything. Yeah, they had event going on. So, and it was supposed to be really rainy down there. So everyone down in Texas and all those warmer places. You should have came up here to Ohio where the real warm weather and oh, yeah. clear skies exist. And we are in the park for the total eclipse of the point. We are getting some lanyards. So it looks like they'll have a, a pin on it. And our glasses. Okay, we got one here. One there. And then... Have fun. Have fun, guys. All right, so we have our, our Cedar Point glasses. We have a pin, total eclipse of the point. So let's put on those. Oh, yep, there's the sign. I saw a sign and opened up my eyes. Look, they covered up that 150. Oh, I think the 150 sign is finally gone. That's crazy. That thing has been here for a few years now. <laughs> oh. I get here a lot, just like you guys. Yeah, good seeing you. Look, they covered up the carousel with some signage. I thought that we were going to be funneled in like media day for the boardwalk last year. We were funneled in through the Windseeker gate. I thought that's how they were going to do it this year. But they let us in the main gate, and I see that the bathroom is not being redone. I thought maybe this bathroom would be the next to be redone in the park, but no such luck. So we are heading back to the boardwalk area where everything is open, and look at that, we got the spike up here complete. Starbucks is open. We got, oh look, some Eclipse shirts. Do you want to show the Eclipse merch? We 
got some got some Eclipse merch. People are frantically trying to get their Eclipse merch. They have little facts about the Eclipse set up. So solar and lunar eclipses repeat themselves every 18 years. With, the, with only the eclipse's geographical visibility, Earth being different. So I think that we're going to, what? Oh, is that the duration of the eclipse? Is that what you're showing me? Yeah. Duration of the eclipse. So 241, so it'll last a couple hours. So we are going to Gatekeeper first and get a nice ride on Gatekeeper because it has been a long, long time. Change of plans. We are going to do Max Air since there is no line. And there is a huge line for Gatekeeper and it's not even open yet. So it only makes sense to do this one first. And we do enjoy ourselves some Max Air, don't we? right up to the station for gatekeeper that's why i didn't want to wait in that big long line because this thing is such a capacity machine i knew that once it got going that we would get right through max air is such a fun ride don't skip on those they have a stage somewhere over there and they're saying they're gonna have a countdown to totality later oh, they already have a count yeah they have a. Uh thing counting down to when it's gonna be. Oh, they gotta, okay. Yeah, like under three hours right now. But as soon as, but they'll probably be like a, a tat, like a New Year's Eve type of 10, nine, eight, so. Oh yeah. Oh, they are filling the station. Oh, they don't have anyone working up here, so. This is not normal gatekeeper operations right here, that's for sure. So they are running two trains, which is good. Third one is still in maintenance. Not surprising for this early, because you can get opening week of this of the season and still have some some trains in maintenance. line inside the gatekeeper gift shop to get some merch is all the way back by where like the photos are seen. Look, oh, I got my finger all bigger. Way back there. So people are trying to buy up their merch. But that shirt, I think I wouldn't mind having. That totally clips to the point. And you got Top Girl 2 and you got the, the clips going on. That shirt isn't so bad. I wouldn't mind having that one. Maybe pick that up before the day is over, as long as it's exclusive. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want it if it can just be bought at any time. Gatekeeper was in mid-season form. That thing was flying through the keyhole, sometimes even early in the season, if it's like a chilly morning. 
you get like hang time going through the keyholes. Yeah. But that ride, it was whipping through, it wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't really uh, going slow at all. It was, it was hauling a little bit. Yeah, so that was a good ride on Gatekeeper. Beautiful weather. Yeah, this is a good day. Uh, so we're going to, I don't know, we could maybe get on another Gatekeeper. We could head over to Wild Mouse. We got the whole boardwalk at our disposal. I know. We were about to get on another ride for Gatekeeper and we ran into Trent. Go check out Not Your Normal Guy if you haven't already. <laughs> we're gonna go get on another Gatekeeper ride because it is dead and it is running well today. Like we just said. <laughs> Look at those lines. Non-existent. I was kind of afraid of what lines would look like if they maybe oversold the event a little bit, but looks like they did a good job or just everyone is in line to get merch because if you try to buy any merch at any of the stores, the lines are like wrapped around the park. Wild Mouse is stuck on the lift hill. We got a worker up there saying, don't worry people, we'll save you. I think it's about time for us to do some trika, 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 or as we like to call it, T3. And Milo said that he might do that big scary Ferris wheel. I don't do that, so I will not be doing that. But there's the countdown to the eclipse. Just over two hours left. They got DJ playing some music. Whole little party going on. The Wild Mouse is down still. Hopefully that's not a permanent thing all day because there's only two roller coasters open. There's Gatekeeper and Wild Mouse. So we don't need one of the two being down. We got Lucy over here. Gotta give a high five. Oh, 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 oh. Boom, there we go. Mouse is testing. I repeat, Mouse is testing. Look, they have a game called Ring Around the Seagull, but that is not correct because there's no such thing as a seagull. It is actually just a gull. Uh, they got gull squishmallows, and then they got squishy, squishy gulls. All right, everyone, this is something I'm gonna put over my phone filter, or put, put over the camera so I can look up. And because the eclipse is starting, it's a very small amount. Oh, but, I, but I'm not gonna be able to see. Look, I was putting on my glasses, okay. Oh, there it is, okay. Okay, you can't really, there's nothing really to look at. It's all right, you can see the moon covering, you can see part of the moon going over the sun. Can you? Yeah. You can see it? Yes, it's right there. I can't see it, maybe I gotta zoom in more. <laughs> I'm like looking up, I'm gonna die. What are you doing? I'm not, I'm looking at the screen. You're looking at the sun through the screen, that'll still hurt. Just put on your, put on your, look, look at it yourself. All right, so I put on the glasses and looked up at it, and it actually is being covered a little bit by the yeah, moon. It's very, very cool. But on the video, on the phone, you got, I put through the filter, you can't really tell. But during totality, you will. Yeah, so. so hopefully then. But right now, you can't see it. It doesn't translate through the video. So uh, hopefully we'll get some better shots for you guys as the day goes on. But it has started. The eclipse has officially started, people. Whoa, whoa, Who's whoa, excited? Whoa, 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 whoa. Leave a comment section. Leave a comment down below. In the comment section. In the comment section, let us know. Are you excited? Are you excited? You better be excited. I'm afraid to like look around or look up. I'm afraid I'm gonna go blind oh, or something. Just, the sun is always there. Oh, the well, sun, I don't want. The sun is, you're, I'm sure you're used to the sun being there. I'm not used to the sun being there. Okay, if you guys remember when we walked into the park and we came in here and showed all the savages rampaging through all the shirts, this is what's left. Absolutely nothing. A couple like youth, youth size shirts for the Snoopy one, but the one that I wanted is gone, but not forgotten. 
And Milo just pointed out some new yeah, CP over. racing shirts, what, over here. So. We have all, like, the layouts of all the coasters. Oh, okay. okay. And then I really like this. Oh, that's cool. With uh, the keychain logo. The keychain logo. <laughs> here, I'm just going to bring scissors and cut that out <laughs> and, like, bring in, like, here's my keychain. <laughs> We got some good Top Thrill 2 merch over here. We got some fanny packs. Got this hoodie with this nice big zipper pocket. I have a Mystic Timbers hoodie from Kings Island that has a small zipper pocket. And it's not bad, but that one's huge. So that one would very much come in useful. What is it? Cedar Point. Oh. And then Cedar Point. There you go. Look at that pillow. Cool that's that. that's a that's a must have. Got top drill two socks. Got some drinking some drinking apparatuses. Patches. All sorts of stuff assist. Alright, I'm gonna try this again with our filter. Put it over the lens and then up in the sky and hope oh there if we zoom in you can kind of see it. it it looks a trillion times cooler in person than on the camera yeah it looks obviously. it looks way better <laughs> looks way better in person but you can kind of see it zoomed in on the camera there is a partial eclipse going on people zombie apocalypse is upon us look everybody look what I found as he walks by oh I totally <laughs> I saw some there you go everyone you can kind of see it a little bit better but I'm kind of looking up but I don't want to like kill myself and like have my eyes melt. But look at that, it's getting closer people. We're getting closer to totality. We're probably only like an hour away. Milo just walked away. I have no idea where he went. He's off. Like some, something's going on. Like he thinks he's gonna miss the eclipse if he takes a minute. So uh, oh, I found him. But this whole area is starting to get packed like crazy. It's facing this way, so you're safe. It's facing me. We have we have one of our dear channel members here saying hi, saying hello. hello. It's Jerry. Always great to run into channel members. We'll have to show. He gave us gave us a really nice park map of Cedar Point. Really nice gift. Very nice. But this place is starting to get filled up. Everyone watching, the sun starts to get overtaken by the moon. I had Milo and now I lost him. Uh, so I have no idea where he is now, but I will find him. People are starting to claim their spots, but I do not see. I lost Milo. And he's with his mom somewhere. They ran off. And oh, yeah. I see him over there. Very nice of them to wait for me. But we got people ready to take this in. People all out on the beach. All right, I have my glasses on so I can look up and see it looks, it almost looks like a, a crescent moon. Can't really see what's going on. I got a peek out underneath. Cause these glasses, if you've never wore these glasses before, they're just pitch black everywhere except for the sun. I had no idea I never wore anything like this before. So I didn't know what it was like, but I have this. I'm gonna stick it in front of the lens and try to really show you guys what is going on here. Like we said earlier, it looks a lot cooler in person like you can kind of see you can mostly see it uh being covered over 
But in person, it just looks completely different. We wish that this video would do this justice, but unfortunately it's not going to. But hopefully you guys got to watch this on your own uh, because this is pretty cool, unless you're in a part of the country that does not, is not in the totality. But yeah, this, this is, uh, is going to be pretty cool. And for the VIP ticket that cost $200, you got to go on top of Valraven for the eclipse. So there you see the elevator as my glasses just fall off my head. And you see the people climbing up on top. So those people get to watch some of the eclipse from on top of Valraven. It is getting awfully close. Looking up in the sky, it is practically, it, it's like its like a full on crescent moon at this moment. I will put on my trusty filter and get up there. Ah, I gotta, hold on guys. Oh, and still it's not doing it justice. Oh, as I zoom in closer, yeah, you can see how much is covered. But there's much more glow on the screen than there is in person. It is getting darker. The people are filling up. We've got people all outside on the beach. We've got people on boats. Because this area is supposed to be one of the best areas in the world to see. So if you want to get one of the best views of totality, then this is definitely one of the spots that you want to be in. All the rides are shut down. We were kind of wondering how this would work, but Wild Mouse, I mean, it's been shut down most of the day because it's been broken anyway, but Gatekeeper, Calypso, Scrambler on the other side, everything completely shut down. Okay, it's getting darker and cooler by the second, like literally. Like it feels like, it feels like when a storm kind of starts moving in on an area and it's like really warm, it's like a warm summer day and a storm starts moving in. It feels a lot like that. So we are about to hit totality. So let me get my glasses on so I don't burn my retinas because you guys don't want that, do you? It is happening, people. It is happening. What? Take your glasses off a little. It's pretty cool. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can take our glasses off now? Look, you can kind of see. I'm looking at it. Wow. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, nice. Look at that. It's completely. This video is not doing it justice, people. It looks like nighttime, everybody. It really looks like nighttime. This is. This is pretty cool. <laughs> all the birds, all the birds are going crazy. All the birds are going nuts, everybody. The birds are freaking out. They're circling. They don't know what's going on. They're like, how did this happen? I thought we had a few more hours before this happened. All the animals are freaking out. Val Raven has its lights on. I think there are people up there right now. Probably, I'm not sure. What do you think of it, Milo? This is insane. Is that pretty cool? <laughs> this is worth the price of admission. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. Yeah. 
So I can. Oh, look. Is that Venus? It's one of the fire. Where? Yeah, yeah. There was another. Where's the comet? Yeah, the comet should be in the northwest sky. What are you, the, the roller coaster? Yeah. <laughs> oh, drop my glasses. Okay, so there's Jupiter right there, and there's Venus. So we got two planets, very much visible. The eclipse is still going on. It's going to be like three or four minutes. Okay, totality is over. It lasted a couple minutes, and it's starting to get a little bit lighter now. Slowly but surely, the birds have all been freaking out. I don't even know where I'm Everybody is very excited over this. This this was an event. This was better than I thought it was going to be. something that I did not expect. I came here to come to the park mostly because we come here all year and it was just kind of an excuse to get into the park when they're normally not open. But that experience was something extra special that I did not expect. It felt like a storm rolling in, like the temperature started dropping and birds started going crazy and it, it felt like felt like a summer storm was rolling in. But the rain never came. That was a good way to describe it because I, I pulled out my sweatshirt, I got cold, but it was just like dealing with that storm. And what about it, it was it was really amazing because it's like not something that you expect obviously with the animals they're the ones that react like we expect it they don't know what's going on but yeah getting dark in the middle of the day is just something that you only experience once in a lifetime pretty much obviously. Exactly. So throughout the park they had the, the rides were actually closed until 317 so no one was on the rides everyone was here enjoying it together but now they're back open people enjoying the park again so what's the first ride you're gonna get on? Uh, if Wild Mouse unbreaks itself, then we'll probably try to get on Wild Mouse because we haven't gotten on that yet today. If not, maybe Scrambler or something like that. Some good rides. The Wild Mouse has been a popular one today, uh, so it was a, a beautiful event out here. It was so cool to see everyone out here. They're the ones that react, but we expect that they don't know what's going on. But yeah, getting dark in the middle of the day is just something that you only experience once in a lifetime, pretty much, obviously. Exactly, and so here at the park, they had the, the rides were actually closed until 317. So no one was on the rides, everyone was here enjoying it together. But now they're back open, people enjoying the park again. So what's the first ride you're going to get on? Uh, it's Wild Mouse. Unbreaks itself, then we'll probably try to get on Wild Mouse because we haven't gotten on that yet today. Okay. If not, maybe Scrambler or something like that. Okay, some good rides. And Wild Mouse has been a popular one. So I was asked by Channel 19 in Cleveland to be interviewed. So got that. It was a live thing. I'm going to try to get the actual footage from Channel 19 to throw that in there. Uh, that was a nice little thing. He, she saw me talking and talking to the camera, and she's like, hey, you know what? You're obviously comfortable talking in front of a camera, so why don't I bring you into the mix and interview you live? So, uh, but now everything is back open. Hopefully, Wild Mouse opens so we can yeah. get on that. Haven't been on that yet today. Yeah, it's, it's got a big line already because it's been broken down, and there are multiple people that have gotten stuck on it, and they were evacuated so they could watch the eclipse, but not from Wild Mouse. So, so what? So, how was the eclipse then? Like, what did you uh, think of it? Definitely worth the hype. Like, I've seen an eclipse before, but it's not, uh, obviously, I haven't seen a, a totality yet. I've only seen a partial eclipse. So, um, it, it, it was really cool. And then the seagulls were going crazy. And it, it, was, it was fantastic. Yeah, it really felt like, uh, yeah, it felt like a storm. That's the only thing I can liken it, it to. It felt like a storm, but, like, even more. Like, it got really cold, um, like, colder. And, um, it, yeah, just really dark. It, it, it was amazing. Yeah, that was a good time. So glad that we came out for this event. But the event is not over. We got plenty more to show you guys in the rest of this video. So don't go anywhere. Vlogception. Look, look, we got we got the vlog going on and we got Trent's live stream, stream going on. on. 
It's all in one thing. <laughs> and then we got Tony Clark up there, who we're about to go and harass. No, just for <laughs> and, Don't say that. And, and not friendly, harass. Friendly question. A friendly question a friendly of, question. hey, Tony, why don't you invite us to any media day stuff? <laughs> oh, he might have heard us because he's right up there. You not sure. Know why. We're both blacklisted. We're blacklisted because <laughs> we're not always nice. But see you guys. See you, Trent. Day, but we did run into Carrie Boardman, president of Cedar Point, and I stopped her and made sure to ask her a couple questions. And one of them was Will Cedar Point sell single use fast lanes for Top Thrill 2? So, in case you don't know, Cedar Fair will sell they'll have little kiosks outside some of their rides and they'll be like uh like 20 30 dollars or something and you get a single use fast lane just for one ride one time yes. and i asked is are you guys going to sell that for top thrill 2 and she said no she can't she'll be absolutely surprised if they're going to do that um well hold on i want to get some of this look at this this is uh this looks really cool out here but she said, I'll be really surprised if they do that. So that is good news. That means that, <coughs> excuse me. That means that the lines for the Top Drill 2 fast lane will be almost non-existent all year for people like us who have the season long fast lane because we have unlimited rides on it. And if you have a daily fast lane, you get one ride on it and your ride again will be very short. You won't have extreme, extremely long fast lane weights for top thrill two because of this so this is all good news thank you for carrie for giving that good news um and like look look at this they have the whole like star alignment and yeah that that looks that looks really cool so we're thinking about going in there oh they're all the yeah they're all the rides and stuff so they really decked out for this a lot of good decoration for this event today oh there and we have some top thrill 2 testing there it goes Woo! i don't know we missed that we missed the spike giving this spinny thing a try once again, because last time it broke down while we were in line. It wasn't broken down for long, apparently, but it was broken down long enough where it chased us out of line. So do this, and then Milo is going to do the Ferris wheel. This thing is as unreliable as it was when it opened. Yeah, how is it, how is it still as unreliable? It picked up. Oh, oh thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Like it picked up towards the end, the middle of last year. So I don't know how it got like, I don't know how it got uh, worse from the end of last year till now. But hopefully it's just some bugs at the very beginning. Gatekeeper, that's been going. That thing is as reliable as can be. Look at that thing, just going, never stops. Me and Milo and one of our channel members, Jerry, we just got off Wild Mouse, got Cheese Car, and it's a misconception that Cheese Car is spinnier than the rest. It's all about weight distribution though, so if you're afraid of anything that's really spinny, make sure you have four people that are pretty evenly sized, all on the, on the ride at the same time, and it won't spin a ton. It'll give a little bit of spin just to make it a little bit enjoyable, but it's not too bad. Now, if you really want to get it extra spinny only ride two maybe three people or if you have four people and like some like some little kids or something put them on one side and put all the bigger adults on the other side 
and it'll definitely get spinning throughout the ride. But we are winding down our time here at the park. We only got like an hour or so left and we're gonna try to get in our last few things. But this event has been probably one of the better events that Cedar Point has put on in quite some time. Weather, perfect. Uh, rides, except for Wild Mouse being down a lot of the day, has been really good. Uh, and they, they didn't sell too many tickets. They didn't oversell it. So all in all, definitely an enjoyable experience. Next time the solar eclipse comes straight over Cedar Point, I highly recommend you coming here. So whenever you're like 95 years old or whatever, and the solar eclipse comes over and they have another event, then you guys should definitely get here to Cedar Point for total eclipse of the point. Well, I am solo right now. Milo and his mom went on the Ferris wheel. I just did max air by myself. There's almost no line whatsoever. But they have this cool thing that we passed up when we first got in. Looks like just a bunch of signatures. Everyone that came can sign it and just, I don't know where this is gonna go. Probably go in the garbage in a couple weeks. Just 20 minutes left of the day and the station is near empty, except for front and back has a little bit of a wait. But we're gonna jump on one more ride before we head out. Yeah. And so that is it from Total Eclipse of the Point. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would say I recommend this event for, for when you can go and watch a Total Eclipse here, but it's gonna be a very it's long time. It's gonna be until like 2444 until another total eclipse happens here. So probably won't be another event like this ever. But hopefully you enjoyed this video enough where you can give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you go down, subscribe to the channel, helps us out a ton. And if you wanna go one step above subscribing, you can be like one of these wonderful people on the screen. They are channel members and they get things for their channel membership. They get things like exclusive pictures, exclusive videos, shout outs. and all of our videos. Stuff like that. And so, it helps us out a ton. So thank you to all our channel members, including Jerry, who we got to hang out with yeah. a lot today and ride a few things with. Always nice to meet channel members and anyone that watches our videos. So thank you to everyone that came up and said hi today. Really appreciate it. Um, but that is it. So we're out of here. Cedar Point, we won't be back for another month until, well, actually the end of the month for Top Thrill 2. Yeah. But then opening day, May 4th. So make sure you subscribe to see all that content coming out. And we'll see you guys next time right here on Beach Cliff Studios. See ya.